Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's an honor for me to give this presentation here. Um, in presentation, this presentation, short paper, and entire research was possible only with the correct collective efforts of myself in class, Fiza Sabir sitting right here, and Faraz Bubio from the university, Sin University back in Pakistan. Um, this, uh, the purpose of this research was to analyze the students' writings uh, based on RST framework, how far they match uh, the RST framework if they are not previously introduced. Um, so, um, this is a conceptual framework that we have been talking about in the morning and probably we continue to talk about in the next two days as well. To give you a little uh, background of education structure back in Pakistan, uh, our education system is uh, mainly inspired by the British education system. Um, the average age of uh, students uh, entering primary school is five years. Then for five years they study primary education, three years is middle education, then two years for secondary education, and two years for higher education. After these 12 years of education, students are eligible to enroll themselves into university or college degrees. Uh, we have four different types of bachelors, bachelor for two years, which is uh, in which takes place in uh, colleges affiliated to the universities and within the university as well. Bachelors for three years and a bachelor for four years and some of the bachelors like bachelors in architecture, bachelors in medicine is for five years. Um, interestingly, there's, uh, in the schools, uh, the students are not introduced to any research specific subject, nor are they introduced to any research specific course until they are in, uh, up to the third year of university education. Some knowledge of research design, principles, methods is given in four years degree, uh, bachelor's degree, where they are expected to uh, present their thesis at the end of the examination. Um, over the past few years, an upward trend in uh, uh, publications, research publications have been observed. Um, around 5,300 uh, uh, research publications were uh, uh, brought out uh, in the year 19, 2013 and 14, it's according to the annual report of Higher Education Commission in Pakistan. And this result is as compared to 1,000 research publications in uh, 2009 and 10, and the number is growing tremendously. Um, from a language perspective, Pakistan is a, a complex country. Um, Mainly, English is our official language, and it has been our official language since Pakistan came into uh, its existence in 1947. Prior to that, we were a colony, a British colony. And English was mainly introduced uh, to strengthen British empire in our country. Uh, and still, English is the official language. Uh, Urdu is our national language, and we have four different provinces. Each province has its own language. So we have seven other languages, major languages spoken. Uh, our official language, uh, English language particularly, is a language of elite. It's a social status, but it has no functional value. So if you interact with the common people around in the country, they would possibly not be able to understand, except a few words, which are very common to everybody would know by the form. But not many people would be able to communicate. So there's no functional value for English language. English is, however, a language of court proceedings. Uh, mainly writing is, takes place uh, in English between departments and within government organization. But for a social interaction, English is not the language. So therefore I said, English is a, oh, Pakistan is a complex country when it comes to languages. Um, the, this particular research is a qualitative study uh, based, uh, which was conducted on secondary data. This data was uh, uh, the essays uh, written by students uh, in the second semester um, in uh, 2016. To be careful that uh, this uh, our research does not have any impact on their assessments. So uh, these essays were already assessed and marked. So uh, it was easy for us to uh, seek consent of uh, the participants to include these their essays in our research. So total number of essays that we received from three different students, it was one project of five essays in one assignment, 
So total number of essays was 15 from three students. And essays, the topics for essays were linguistic imperialism in Pakistan, gender discrimination, social problems in Pakistan, internet addiction, internet addiction, and the downfall of the education system because of private or government institutions. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the students uh, whose essays were included in this research project were not introduced uh, with any um, research specific subject. Uh, and how we gather this all information is uh, the first step to uh, continue this research was to access the secondary data. We approached 15 students uh, for their consent, consent and essays uh, were already assessed and marked as I mentioned earlier. The results were already finalized, so this analysis would have no impact on students' results. Um, anonymity of participants was also ensured. Essays were analyzed uh, in, in line with uh, the RST framework. Um, one author took lead in the, this procedure and incorporated the other author's opinion of coding as well as part of the analysis. The process of analysis essays took place for two months with uh, um, regular on and off uh, meetings between three authors. Uh, these were the findings that we um, came up with, and I'll talk about this in detail. I'll just give you um, half a minute to have a look at uh, how frequently did the students use uh, uh, the facets of RSD framework. If you look at this table, you'd see that super number two use the facets of uh, RST framework more frequently than other two, followed by super number one and then super number three. Um, all students uh, practiced all five uh, uh, facets of research without being formally taught these facets through any course uh, during their bachelor degree. The students use evaluative, reflective facets most followed by facets related to analyzing, synthesizing, then finding and generating. The table also shows a difference in frequency of all facets among three students. As I mentioned, frequency of research facets for student two is the highest. Next is student one, and then student three employ the lowest frequency of research skills. This suggests that individual differences also play a role in the employment of research facets in students' essays. The students were able to employ the research facets without being formally exposed to them, and students do pick these facets on their own um, without being without being aware of uh, these facets. They were able to employ them in their essays, and it will also be interesting to find out in future studies what made them use these facets without being uh, aware of. Uh, and we also emphasize that students have uh, always been encouraged that to approach such topics in an evaluative and critical manner. We think it is probably because of that. Or they might have developed these skills by learning how to write and compose essays, reports, debates, speeches during their uh, study at school and university levels. It is also likely that they have uniquely developed this writing style of evaluating, analyzing topics in this particular way. Uh, we had limitations, we had simple, uh, limited uh, sample size and we also could not gather any information from the participants on how and why they wrote these essays in such a, such a way. Um, our recommendations are students' research skills can be enhanced by introducing research skill development framework through detailed workshop. We also suggest that the RSC framework can provide an opportunity for creating conditions where learning can be more systematic, organized by building students' previous knowledge through specifically arranged workshops. A thorough understanding of RSC framework can result in developing, refining, recording the progress of students' research skills at all levels. Employing this framework can improve students' research skills and help them learn better. Write-ups generated after the RST framework is formally uh, introduced, after the RST framework is formally introduced, will yield better results. This 
Um, these are all references that we went through, and this brings to an end of my talk. Thank you very much.